Since the launch of Unity's UI features in 4.6, one area that has really been lacking is text. Luckily, one of my favorite editor extensions, Text Mesh Pro, has now been acquired by Unity. And so we should see this slowly be made of the Unity standard editor. Until then, Text Mesh Pro is available for free on the Asset Store. And if you haven't picked it up yet, well, you're really missing out. The Asset uses a technique called Sign Distance Field to make your text render so much crisper. It also has a bunch of tools for layouting your text and loads of cool buttons for styling it. So in this video, we'll just dive in and start using some of these features. Let's get into it. The most important part for me is how crisp the text renders. Here we see a comparison between the standard text in Unity and a Text Mesh Pro text object. I hope this is clear from the recording, but even at this distance, there's a huge difference. And if we now go to the scene view and start zooming in, the difference becomes so much clearer. In fact, we can keep zooming in on the Text Mesh Pro object and it will remain crisp. Whereas if we do this on Unity standard text, not so much. So to get Text Mesh Pro, we want to go Window, Asset Store, and then search for Text Mesh Pro. You can just use the link in the description. We'll then import it for free. Let's hit Import again. And that's it. Now we're ready to get started. Creating text in Text Mesh Pro works in the same way that it normally does. We'll simply right click in the hierarchy, go UI, and instead of choosing text, we'll choose Text Mesh Pro text. As you can see, this creates a canvas and our Text Mesh Pro object. And we can configure it in the inspector. We can choose the text itself. We can also scale up our box here and choose how it should be layouted in it. We can choose the font by changing the font asset. You should get a few ones by default. We can choose some styling options. And if you go to material preset, there are some pre-made styles to choose from. But before we delve into styling, let's have a look at importing our own fonts. To do that, we first want to find a font. I'm just going to search for Roboto. This is on Google Fonts. I'm going to select this font. I'm then going to take the font family and download it. Finally, you can open this up in a zip file. Make sure to extract the zip file. And let's now take Roboto regular.ttf and simply drag it into the Unity project. Now this is a regular font. And so this is not going to render in the crisp way that TextMesh Pro does. To make this usable for TextMesh Pro, we go Window, TextMesh Pro, and we open up the font asset creator. This allows us to take a regular font We'll take in our newly imported font and drag it into the font source slot and turn it into a font atlas using sign distance field. In most cases, you can leave all the settings as is and hit generate font atlas. And it should look something like this. Now we can hit save text mesh pro font asset. You can choose a location in your project and I'm just going to call it roboto.asset. Let's now hit save. We can close down the font asset creator and boom, we now have a font asset. We can then select our text mesh pro object, drag in our new font asset, and there we go. We've now changed the font of our text. Now, if we scroll down in the inspector, we can see all of the different knots and dials that will allow us to style our text. In most cases, however, you just want fairly simple text controls. And we don't want to spend performance on all these options that we won't use. So we go to Shader and change this to Text Mesh Pro, Mobile, and then Distance Field. This only has options for the face, outline, and an underlay, such as a shadow. So to add a shadow to our text, we enable our underlay, Let's open up the settings. Let's offset it on the X and Y. And let's add some softness. And there we go. We've now created white text with a black shadow. But there's so much more we can do. If you go under the TextMesh Pro folder, under Examples, then Scenes, there are almost 30 different scenes here showing different aspects of TextMesh Pro. I really recommend going through all of these. Each feature can be super useful. Let's try and open up number 25, the TextMesh Pro title. And I'll just hit Don't Save. Now you can see some text working with lighting. If we go ahead and disable one of the lights, our text will update. Let's select the two text objects here and disable them. And let's create one on our own by right clicking, going 3D object and selecting Text Mesh Pro text. Let's then find it in the scene view. Let's drag it up a bit and let's change the font asset to our Roboto text. However, this styling is super boring, but instead of overriding our current style, let's go ahead and create a new one. This option can be a bit hard to find, but what we need to do is actually right click on our material down here, hit create material preset. This is going to take us to the place where our font asset is stored and create a material right by the side of it. The default material, the first one we're using right now, can be found under the font asset itself. So let's name our new material Roboto and let's call it Cole. Let's then select our text object, make sure our Roboto Cool material is selected and let's switch out of this mobile shader to Text Mesh Pro and let's do distance field surface. Now you can see that the light in our scene is already affecting our text. So if we change the lighting, our text will change with it. Let's make our text bold. 
Let's give it a bit more room. Let's center it in our text box. Make sure to move it over to center it in our game view. Let's also add some spacing between the characters. Let's scroll down. For our face, let's dilate the text a bit. And here we can of course choose a color, but we can also put a texture. So let's hit select. And when importing Text Mesh Pro, it's also going to import some materials. I'm going to take the floor cement, and I'm also going to add some gloss. This is not going to change, however, before we go down here and under lighting, increase our specular color. And now you can see that we're adding in gloss on our text. Let's then create an outline. To do that, we'll increase the thickness. Let's add some gloss here as well. Let's select a white color. And we have the option to add a texture here as well. For this one, I'm going to select the fruit jelly. And we can maybe tint this a bit, let's say orange, or maybe a bluish tone. Now we can adjust a bevel. We can play around with the offset, with the width, the amount, and we can even kind of round it out. Let's also add a bump map to our text. Under the texture here, let's select sand normal. And let's make this really apparent on the face and also give it a tiny bit on the outline. Finally, there are options for adding environment maps if you want reflections and even glow to your text. I think I'm going to add an orangey glow. Now this does not look good, but I'm sure that's more the artist than the tool. From here on, I recommend you check out some of the example scenes. If you get lost on a particular setting, there's also the user guide. And in the description, you will also see a link to a YouTube channel by the guy who made this asset. That's a lot of in-depth information there. So really, there's no excuse to not have fun with this. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future one. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in June. And a special thanks to Hans Hoftun, Commander Firestone 38, Will Goad, Jesper Mikkelsen, Thomas Vorley, Stone Gamer, Cyborg Mommy, Jason Latido, Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, and Peter Locke. If your name is not on the list, I will make sure to include it in videos later this month and the next month as well. Thanks a lot, guys.